女士们、先生们，有请美国消费技术协会总裁兼首席执行官盖瑞·萨佩罗先生。Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Guy Shapiro, President and CEO, Consumer Technology Association. 
It is investment in infrastructure, investment in education, and a focus on technology and innovation. The government emphasis on innovation and the five-year plan help will emphasize some very important emerging industries. It will encourage public entrepreneurship and innovation. And it calls for technical operating and development of the internet, artificial intelligence, and the internet of things. And of course, it will encourage acceleration and digitalization to build smart cities. And CSH is totally aligns with these interests and spotlights local and national innovation. According to GFK China, the 2017 Chinese tech consumer goods market is estimated to be 2.1 trillion RMB, with about a 5% growth rate projected to 2.2 trillion in 2018. And that is why we think it is so important to bring all the factors of the ecosystem together in one place for consumer technology so you can be inspired and you can see the next generation of products and so the business leaders here can do deals and focus on innovation because innovation is taking disparate ideas and putting them together in a way that will benefit people in the future. And boy, the bright people are here. In our audience today are not only leaders from China, but we have leaders from France as well. We have the mayor and senator from one of the largest and most important and beautiful cities in France, Angers. Christophe Bechou is here. Please join me in welcoming CSH showcases innovation, of course, not only from China, but from 22 other nations as well. And it's more than a traditional buyer or seller tradition. It's where companies can brand and launch their new products and services. We'll see products from tech powerhouses, startups, manufacturers, and developers. And consistent with what CES does, it's not just about the biggest companies that you see on the CES stage. It's a focus on entrepreneurship, on startups, because so much innovation comes from the smallest companies. Every large company started as a tiny, small company, and we want to give those small companies our home. And that's why we've expanded Startup Park to showcase more than 75 startups from 10 countries. That's where you can form these new business relationships with the people they see, like yourselves, the media, the investors, the partners, the buyers, and they can get new business relationships across industries and within industries. Because executives are coming here from around the world to see the next big thing, to see the growth, to inspire and be inspired. So even as we celebrate innovation, we must also recognize some major global shifts that are occurring in our environment. This is an era of political and technological disruption, and we see major political changes and global challenges worldwide. But politics aside, I am so thrilled that the first meeting between our country's new president and your president was so positive. The election of non-traditional candidates around the world, such as Donald Trump and Emmanuel Macron, demonstrates a changing landscape politically, as does the Brexit. Both Donald Trump and Emmanuel Macron were political candidates who took major risks. And risk-taking is what entrepreneurship and innovation is about. I mentioned France earlier. I want to come back to it because France is a country that is rapidly embracing innovation and technology. And then the McCarthy himself has been to CES events four different times. And he has a commitment to innovation which was part of his platform. Indeed, the French presence at CES continues to increase with over 230 different French companies in Las Vegas at CES. And it's the second largest country exhibiting at Eureka Park after the United States. Eureka Park is a startup portion. And what we see with France is we see an effort as a nation to focus on technology. The little red booster you see on some people, you'll see on the uh, French area, look, is La French Tech, which is a government-backed startup incubator, which continues to expand entrepreneurship in France, and it won 50 different innovation awards at CES. And here, in Shanghai, La French Tech has 22 startups in CES Asia. So as we celebrate this commitment to innovation from France, from China, and around the world, we have to also 
also recognize that we face challenges, which sometimes will cause problems, but technology is in a position to help solve some of the world's biggest child problems. And that's what you see in the show floor, and that's what you see with innovation. Our industry is unique because we help address the global challenges, the skills gap in education, healthcare, transportation, communication, food production, just about every major significant problem, including human terrorism, are, are having solutions presented by innovations, technology, communications, and sensors, and self-driving cars. And that is why the wisest nations are those nations that are embracing innovation as the way forward. Because although technology innovation presents challenges, it causes disruption sometimes in jobs, it also provides a way forward. We've come a long way since the invention of the wheel, since the invention of the motorized car, and the airplane, and the radio, and the telephone, and the telegraph, and the internet itself. And many jobs were replaced and displaced, but many of them, including almost everyone in this room, has new jobs created because of innovation and technology. And you will see some of the newest solutions on the show floor here because that is what this show is about. And over the next few days, you will see how technology is not only changing the world, but it is making it better. You'll see self-driving vehicles. What do they do when they stop fatalities? 300 people are killed every day in China by car accidents. Outside of Holes Head Fleet and M4, Baidu's intelligent driving to showcase self-driving technology. You'll see drones that are improving infrastructure, hot crop production, as well as deliveries. You'll see artificial intelligence and robotics. Not only this show, but many years to come, we'll be seeing these products and shows thanks to the deep learning and the algorithms that are being allowed for artificial intelligence and the mechanical ability that's growing quickly for robotics. It's changing healthcare. It's changing safety and security in so many other areas. Because of the technologies that the brilliant people in our industry produce, we will live happier, healthier, safer, and more edu educated and enjoyable lives. And technology will also drive economic growth and a broad array of new jobs. We're at a very important point. We're sitting at the edge of a very promising future. And I hope you will join us on this journey. I hope you will explore the show floor and witness with me the power of technology which is changing the world. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce a global leader that is transforming the world with its mobile technology and products. Huawei is one of the top three smartphone manufacturers around the world. Its products and services cover over 170 countries. That's about one-third of the world's population. I am thrilled to welcome Mr. Ron Gao, the Chief Operating Officer of Huawei Consumer BG. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Ron Gao. He holds a bachelor's degree from the University of Science. And prior to his current position, he was president of Mobile Broadband and Home Device Business and CBG. He has served as president of the Wireless Product Line and is pre he was president of Russia Huawei Technologies. In his keynote, Mr. Wan will present Huawei's strategic vision and his industry outlook for how to build a better intelligent Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mr. Wang Yao.
，这里面就包括两个含义，第一个是 collective wisdom， 第二是 meaningful。Meaningful innovation and collective wisdom. It's very interesting that these two strategies are highly aligned with the theme of CS Asia. Connectivity and creating excellence. Due to our constant investment in R&D and constant innovation, our consumer business enjoys fast growth in recent years. Huawei brings innovative and excellent services to the consumers, which wants nice recognition. And in 2016, the sales of our smartphones reached 130 million units, becoming one of the top top three smartphone manufacturers in the world. And in Q1 this year, Huawei continues our momentum of high growth. In Q1, we deliver 34 million units of smartphones with 1.6% growth compared to last year. And around the world, in the market of the tablet, in spite of the tablet market decline, in Q1, Huawei enjoyed tablet, enjoys 7% growth compared to last year. And this growth comes from our constant investment in innovation. And we constantly win the recognition and trust from the consumers by our quality and our services. If we review the development of the human history, I would like to give you three figures. And I would like to tell you that the speed of the change of the world. 2,300 years ago, in Greece, in ancient Greece, we understand that Greece is the origin of the a modern democracy. 2,000 years ago, a lot of things influence the follow-up philosophy as well as the technical development. 1,300 years ago, the symmetry theory was the beginning of the modern mathematics. And symmetry theory laid the foundation for the follow-up calculation and computing. In 18th century, when the steam engine and the industrialization occurs, actually, it also brought us a huge impact and influence on the follow-up development of technology. Since the industrialization era and the follow-up 200 years onwards, the deep blue technology, actually between these two momentum events, 200 years past, I remember when the deep blue computer beat the human beings in chess, Everyone was curious and skeptical about that. Okay, computer can beat the chess player, but machine could not beat the Go players. Why? Because the com complexity of the chess is not that high as the complexity of Go. So think about that, the difference between the complexities between the chess and Go. So at that time, no one would believe that machine will beat the Go players. Since 1997 to 2017, AlphaGo, 20 years, only 20 years passed. AlphaGo beat the top Go players in this planet. So from 2,000 years ago, 200 years ago, and 20 years ago, these three figures tell us that the development of the technology is exponential. It is beyond our imagination. We could not imagine that in the future what the society will look like. With the development of AI, what the smart society will bring about to us is very hard for us to imagine that. So just think about the future smart society, those possible scenarios. I think there are three key points. First, uh, like the ubiquitous sensing. That is to say, for all objects, 
in individuals. So they will be sensed or they are able to sense others just like our five senses of human beings that are able to sense the world. The same holds true for future objects which are going to be able to perceive the surrounding ambience. Second, like the ubiquitous intelligence. So for all objects and individuals, they are going to be equipped with the smart power, not only people. Third characteristic, that is ubiquitous kind of connectivity. So all objects and individuals, both objects, things and people, they are going to be connected. So what kind of a scenario it will be in the future? According to people's forecast, 10 years down the road, this kind of a intelligent society that is connected everywhere, so actually this kind of a connectivity is going to be increasing by a factor of a 10 compared to current Nordic level of connectivity. So Huawei is like a advocate to promote the smart society. Huawei has been putting in a lot of efforts all along. So the future intelligent society, we're going to have a three phases. First stage is where we're now, namely enable me. So all those uh, smart devices, they are serving human beings. They're enabling people. So with technological development and the development of interactive technologies, including voice technology, which you may find easy to understand, and also visual, auditory, and also touching, or even neural network in the future. All those technologies that will be able to interact through multiple forms, be it like interaction between people and people, people and objects, and objects and objects, smart interactivity will be possible. And then, be me, that is the next step, AI, artificial intelligence. We're going to have intelligent machines, equipment, and objects, and things. They're going to be blessed with like the uh, kind of a reasoning capability, just like people. So when that era is around, what kind of uh, era it would be? Think about it. So for Huawei, as one of the enabler and advocate for smart ecosystem, we are making efforts all along. So nowadays, if you look at our intelligent devices and the terminals of a Huawei, we help consumers with interaction, communication, sports, health, and entertainment, and office. Different scenarios where we offer our consumers consistent, seamless, and extreme user experience. So. As we know that, like it includes smartphone, we are very familiar with, and also smart sensors in the products, including a tablets, as well as what we are going to introduce to you today, the Huawei newest generation computer product. So first, I'd like to introduce to you what Huawei is going to bring to you. Three models of a MateBook, the product we're going to show you, and a MateBook X, MateBook E, and a MateBook D. So it is known to us already that the laptop computer we're using now, they're pretty clumsy, uh, very hard for us to carry around. If you want a, a very easy to carry around laptop with a fashion design, but performance may be a problem, especially when you have a high demand for performance, you may think it is falling short of your requirement. When you need a high performance product, you think it is very clumsy and a very heavy. No way for you to carry it around very easily. If you want to use iOS, however, there is a problem with compatibility with like a word system. So why not develop a product that has fashion, high tech, and a high performance? A you know, laptop computer, why not? So the Huawei MateBook X, this is the very product that can, you know, contains a fashion elegance and a high performance and also high tech. For this very product, if you look at the volume, it is smaller than the size of an A4 paper.
首先给大家介绍一下这款产品的外观。当我们开始在构想一年多前来构想和设计这款电脑的时候，我们一直在想，我们应该至少要做一款是极致惊艳的，让我们这款产品有足够的吸睛度和百分之百回购率的这么一款产品。我经常看到我们一些同事很好笑，因为他们经我们很多同事呀、啊。经常要出差和旅行，啊，这些女士，她们背着非常小巧的、轻巧的这个时尚的包包，但是我发现她们经常那个包非常的沉重，有时候那个包挎在肩上都变形了，所以我发现她们拿出来的时候是一款厚重的、黑黑的、笔记本电脑。
，这种三米二的这种长宽比，会让这款机器看起来更加的协调，并且当你网页浏览或处理文字的时候，的具备更大的识别性。不仅如此，我们在屏幕的设计上也下了功夫。当我们拿起这款笔记本电脑的时候，当我们从侧面去看它的时候。你会发现，这个屏幕的超薄，就像一片锐利的刀锋。这得益于我们在屏幕上的精心的处理，整个整个屏幕采用是全屏的、无边框的、无边框凸起的全屏设计思路。因此，在整个这款产品美华为的 MacBook X 的设计上面。我们从一开始就对美提起了一个对美追求极致美的永不在任何事业上对美都不做妥协的设计思路和理念。讲到这款电脑，我们还不得不再讲一下这款屏幕。华为的 MacBook X 这款屏幕，当它打开和点亮的时候，你会有一种呼之欲出和跃然纸上的这种感觉。它的呈现效果是非常之通透，最主要原因来源于几个关键。第一，这款屏幕我们采用的是两面的显示屏幕，高清屏幕，整个桌面率达到了二幺六零乘以幺四四零。因为整个的这款屏幕采用的是百分之百的 S R G B 摄影屏，对比度达到了一千比一。同时，在整个这个屏幕的这个上面覆盖的是一块完整的康德大猩猩玻璃，因此整个视觉效果看到是。有这种非常通透、晶莹的这种感感受。当我们讲到这么小的一张 A 四纸的小，我们讲到轻薄的时候，到底它薄到什么程度？就在前天，苹果发布的 MacBook Pro 十三点三寸的时候，它的机器 Pro 这款机器的厚度是。十四点九毫米，而华为的 MacBook X 最后组，最后组只有十二点五毫米，整整比 MacBook Pro 十三点三薄了百分之二十。即使即使是苹果最薄的 MacBook 十二寸，它的厚度。也比华为的 MacBook X 要厚。当我们讲小于 A4 纸的这么轻巧的身材，只有十二点五毫米的厚度的时候，但是我们又用了一个全金属的机框设计，一体化的设计。那么用金属必然代表重，但是我想告诉大家。我们这款 MacBook X 总重量只有一点零五公斤，比 MacBook Pro 十三点三轻了整整百分之四。昨天我跟一些外面的朋友聊，和记者朋友聊，尤其是一些女性的这个记者朋友说，他们当他们看到这款机器的时候。他们都忘了一次，不仅是因为它的薄，还是因为它的轻。华为 MacBook X 这次我们上市产品将提供三种颜色的选择，其中含了，我想不管您是这个精英的商务人士，还是文艺范的小清新，我想在玫瑰金、深红灰。和流光的三种颜色里面，我想一定有一款会适合你。前面讲到了，这么小于 A 四纸的身材，只有十二点五毫米的厚度，大家一定会有疑问，它性能会怎么样子？是否性能会做妥协？下面我给大家分享一下华为 MacBook X 的强劲性能。华为的 MacBook X 采用的是英特尔最新的第七代的。
库存处理器。我想这次台湾 I 七是 U 系列的，是真正的高性能的处理器，跟苹果的 MacBook 十二相比，我们虽然大小比它薄，但是他们用的是管理处理器，管理器处理器。因此，华为 MacBook X 在追求极致美。极致轻薄和时尚的同时，绝对不牺牺牲性能。华为做这么一款极致的、高颜值的、百分之百吸金率的这么一个高性能产品的时候，我想，德云也非常感谢英特尔对我们的这个大力的这个支持。我想，我非常高兴的。有这个机会邀请英特尔的客户电脑事业部的副总裁 Chris w a l l 先生上台给大家做介绍。These systems are a wonderful combination of form, style, with great PC performance. Powered by Intel 7th Gen Core processors, these Huawei systems pack leading performance and innovation into thin and light, bringing you more speed, longer battery life, and new experiences that will complement your life. For multitasking and creating a more immersive internet, for making and sharing photos and videos, this can all be done nine times faster. Far too many people are still using an old PC, and with these new processors and Huawei systems, what was a 30-minute task on a five-year-old PC can now be done in under four minutes. Just amazing advances thanks to Moore's law. Increasingly, on-the-go lifestyles require battery life that lasts all day. Our Intel 7th Gen processors are very efficient. You can watch four Harry Potter movies back to back. And still have time to catch up on all your, all your email and the plane ride home. Not only that, we pack more than just awesome speed and battery life. It's features to enable like new experiences, like premium content services on your PC, enhanced security with our SGX technology to make the best Windows Hello experience, and with Huawei's Mate Pen, offer uncompromising inking experiences on Windows 10. Huawei and Intel work very closely together to bring these innovations to life. These results will require work, not only at the software level and hardware level, and that's done with our strong collaboration with Huawei. I know Huawei is eager to win with the best, and Intel is happy to work with Huawei to bring these systems to life. Huawei makes it possible, and I thank Huawei for making it best with Intel inside. Thank you, Mr. Wan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, 前面 Chris Wong 先生应该给大家做了一个啊非常精炼的华为 Intel Science, Huawei Intel Seventh Gen Core Processor, the great and strong performance. So for Huawei MateBook X, the ultra thin and the size is smaller than A4 paper, but it still have a very powerful inner core and a high performance. So speaking of a high performance, we must mention. Uh, like uh, the heat dissipation issue of computers. So as we know, for traditional laptops and the computers, they have like the fan. When you open up the computer, you're gonna find that there is a fan inside. So there are two problems with a fan. First, the fan is spinning, but over time, there is dirt and dust accumulating. As a result, uh, the spinning speed is gonna go down and ventilation property will be jeopardized. So the performance will be jeopardized as a result. Second problem, noise. Especially as you start it up or you play games or large files processing or play videos. As a startup, you're gonna hear very obvious, for example, fan spinning sound. 
So when we strike a balance between aesthetic design and performance, with our constant innovation, we try to make this laptop is fashionable but powerful. On Mabel X, we adopt 2012 R&D Lab new technology. We adopt spatial cooling technology. And the material actually is a very special micro capsule material. It is used in the aerospace application in the suit of the astronaut. When the astronauts wear the space suit, the metabolism is a very important healthier indicator. So within the space suit, the material is exactly identical to the cooling material used on the Mabel X. Next, I would like to show you a video. In space, where heat management is mission critical, micro-encapsulated phase change materials are vital in keeping our spacecraft and astronauts from overheating. Today, the same technology will be used to keep your laptop cool. These materials, stored in tiny gel capsules, melt and solidify at certain temperatures, quickly absorbing or releasing heat. The result is an incredibly powerful and compact notebook without a fan. Space Age technology for the digital life. So this video shows you about the basic introduction of the micro capsule material. I believe that with this excellent material on May Book X, there is no any problem caused by the heat. So next let's move on to software. Software is essential. On May Book X we will install the latest Windows 10 as well as Office 365. Now it's my great honor to give the floor to Mr. Alan Crozier, the chairman and the CEO of the Microsoft Greater China to deliver the next speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, this introduction. I'm, uh, I'm really excited uh, to see uh, Huawei embracing uh, Windows 10 the way, the way they do. So really, thank you, thank you so much. Today, uh, Windows 10 is the most secure Windows ever developed by Microsoft. But not only that, not only that, it is also Windows 10 an OS that will help you unleash your creativity and your productivity. It is also an OS, the best OS for the gaming industry so far. A lot of innovation went into Windows 10. But not only that, when you look at the adoption, the adoption of Windows 10 today is the fastest we ever had at Microsoft. 500 million people are using daily Windows 10, and this number is growing, and it's growing, and it's going to grow in the support of Huawei, of course. So let's talk about three big things here. The first one is security. Security is the foundation of every software that Microsoft is developing. Foundation. Because without security, there is no trust. And without trust, there is no customers and there is no relationship between us. So we've made this operating system the most secure operating system on the planet. From the start, with Windows Hello, we provide you with a real enterprise grade security using facial recognition. We using fingertip, you can start your machine. Not only that, we all know that today we have tons of malware that are really, really proliferating on the planet. Microsoft is helping you. When you access the internet, 
when you open a file, Microsoft will be here with Windows 10 helping you. More important, we are evolving Windows 10. Thanks to a very smooth upgrade system, you have the ability to update Windows 10 on an ongoing basis, and future threat will be addressed by Microsoft. Another big thing is, especially for the Chinese market, we announced some days ago the official availability of Windows 10 Garment Edition, which is a Garment Edition of Windows 10 for Garment and SOEs. This is a fantastic, fantastic opportunity for our industry to really take more advantage and embrace Windows 10 more broadly, especially here in China. We will continue to build the most secure operating system on the planet. Now let's talk about uh, creativity and productivity. Creativity, it's all about what you can do with uh, your operating system, what your operating system will bring to you. Windows 10 will help you personalize your relationship with your PC, with Cortana, with Windows 3D. You can create 3D objects, place them in the different applications like Office, but also you can view them in mixed reality. And with the new Huawei devices, I can tell you, you are going to benefit from Office 2016, the latest version, and you're going to be able to really be more productive as a user. Last point I want to highlight is really the best Windows ever for gaming. Why is that? You will be able to play your normal PC games, but you, always, you will always have access now to the Xbox title. The streaming, your gameplay, and broadcasting will be much more enhanced and you have one of the best experience in gaming. With Windows 10 game mode, your PC, your Windows 10 PC, is going to dedicate more system resources to the game. You will have the ultimate gaming experience using Windows 10. So really, at the end of the day, it's all about also mixed reality. Mixed reality is really bringing the virtual world to your physical environment. This is what Microsoft is offering with Windows Mixed Reality as part of Windows 10. It is the only platform, the only platform unifying Mixed Reality ecosystem. Of course, you've heard about HoloLens coming into the ecosystem. You will create new environment, new experience for you. It's going to create new experience for developers to build more software to create more software, but also to create more jobs for this industry. So really, 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 three things. Security, creativity and productivity, and gaming. So I'm very excited about the partnership with Huawei, a very deep partnership. You will have access to Windows 10 on Huawei's devices. Fantastic devices, by the way, congratulations. You will always have access to Office 2016. But I know that the two companies, Microsoft and Huawei, are going to work together to really go beyond that and offer new phone factors in the future. So thank you so much, and long life to this partnership. Thank you. Thank you very much for your introduction about the collaboration between Huawei and Microsoft on Maybook. And I'm very thrilled to build up this collaboration with Microsoft. So, Maybook X is really, really eye-catching, ultra-thin, but really powerful. It is productive, 
it is beautiful. And when we talk about the connection capabilities, it is also excellent. We have a dual Wi-Fi system, dual antenna system. It can guarantee the best connectivity as well as the user experience in any use cases. And we support 2 gigabyte and 5G modes in connectivity. So again, within the 12.5 millimeter body, with the Intel latest CPU, how about the battery life? I can tell you that Maybook X can provide 10 hours local video playing, 10 hours text processing, and 10 hours web browsing. So if you fly from China to United States, there is no need to worry about the battery. So after introducing design, and the inside of the Mabel X. Next, I would like to give you more details about the other innovations on Mabel X. Mabel X is equipped with the high quality entertainment system because within this laptop, we use the Dolby Atmos sound system and then we are the first one to use the Dolby Atmos sound system on the laptop. Some people will say us that well what is the difference between the Dolby Atmos sound system? What is the difference between the collaboration between Huawei and Dolby? And I believe that this time, this collaboration between Huawei and Dolby We do not merely use the algorithm of Dolby, but also conduct our collaboration in the hardware designs. For instance, speakers design as well as the uh, acoustic chamber, as well as the, the whole of the sound system. So in terms of the software and hardware, with our deep collaboration with Adobe, within this kind of tiny body of the laptop, we create excellent acoustic sound experience. And I can tell you that we have drilled 1,739 tiny metal hole on the sound system. We just try to build up the excellent integration between the hardware as well as the software. So next, due to our, our, due our friendly collaboration with Adobe, I believe that you must have a lot of information we love to learn from Adobe. Next, I would like to give the floor to Huang Jiaxian, the business collaboration general manager of Adobe in China, to give you more details on this regard. Thank you, Mr. Wang. It's my great honor to be on behalf of Adobe to attend the uh, launching ceremony of a uh, Mabel series of Huawei. Mabel X is the first laptop equipped with the Adobe Atmos sound system. The collaboration between Huawei and Adobe is very close. We customize the hardware and algorithm for Huawei. We achieved extraordinary account state quality. Adobe Atmos sound system is a very important system because we understand that users pay a lot of attention to the quality of the sound. However, the sound of the, the quality of sound actually is a little bit less satisfying. That's the reason why we introduce Atmos sound system. We can unleash the creativity of the users 
It can enable the sound can be heard everywhere. In the space where the laptop is in, and it can create a brand new experience to the users. So within the tiny body of the Maple X, how can we achieve this extraordinary and significant acoustic experience? We specifically designed the speaker for our Maple X, and then we also designed specifically the acoustic chamber for the system. It can make the sounds more, much richer and much better. And besides that, we can also co-design the a whole of the a, a sound system to achieve the maximum quality of the sound. Maybook X acoustic system is different with others. With a customized software and hardware, we increase, we escalate the sound quality of the Maybook X to another level. No matter you use the, the built-in speaker of the Maybook X or no matter you use the headset, no matter what are you using the sound system for, for gaming, for listening to the music, actually a Toma sound system can provide you the immersive experience. So in a short conclusion, the Mabel X with Dolby Atmos sound system, we actually help, help everyone enjoy a brand new sounding system for the future. I really admire the efforts from Mr. Wan as well as the team of Huawei. You are very professional. And I would like to encourage all of you to experience the Maybook X, Maybook D and Maybook E to experience our Adobe Atmos sound system and I really hope that there could be more and more users can experience the Adobe quality as well as the charming listening experience of Adobe. Thank you very much. So Mr. Huang just give us some idea about the collaboration between Huawei and Adobe about how we can achieve such extraordinary acoustic experience, sound experience and quality on our Maybook. So I really encourage everyone to experience our Maybook after this meeting. Now let's talk about the unlocking of the laptop. There are three steps conventionally. The first one, push the power button. Second step, fingerprint. Oh, push the power button, control delete, and then the third step is the password. According to our statistics, on average, one user will mistype password for two times. So normally speaking, you will type in the password for three times for a correct login. But for Mabel X of Huawei, we have an innovative concept. We integrate the power button and the a fingerprint detector together. When you push the power button, locking and activating of the laptop can be happening at the same time. The whole process will be completed within 10 seconds. Meanwhile, on Mabel X, we adopt the universal color design concept. The color of the keyboard is identical to the body of the laptop and with a backlit keyboard. We can guarantee the typing experience in the dark in the environment. And we also adopt the anti-splashing, anti-spraying design on the keyboard. It can prevent any unnecessary worries or concerns after splitting or splashing of the coffee or tea. We have another features 
available for our users. Blue ray, blue light elimination feature. With our eye protection mode, we can release the fatigue on your eye. MacBook X. I would like to introduce to you a software we use. This is like a MacBook Butler software, just like the Huawei introduction information I told you. Actually, be it in terms of the smartphones or you know sports wearables or smartwatch, you know home devices, and also the office, for example, laptop computers, etc. You know what we try to offer is like the seamless and a consistent connected design. So seamlessly you can connect your data and share your data. This is where our product comes in. So actually, when you go to the outdoor space, if there is no internet connectivity, but with one button, and you can use your mobile phone as a Wi-Fi hot spot, so you can directly get connected to the internet, or with pushing one button, there is iShare on the smartphone of a Huawei, so through pushing the button of iShare, then the smartphone of a Huawei can be, for example, synchronized uh, the data sharing with uh, the other devices of a Huawei. So we do not need the external uh, network, we do not need cloud, so across the Huawei devices, we're able to enable data sharing. So thanks to this software or app design, it can meet your requirement in different scenarios. MateBook X, so up to now. Lastly, with uh, the final line, I'd like to introduce to you uh, our product. It is a uh, thin, but it is, uh, you know, small in size, but it gives you very powerful performance. Thank you. Speaking of the MateBook X, such a compact design, and then an enriched number of interfaces is very important. So this is the Huawei uh, Mate Dot Generation 2. So this is a compact kind of a port, extension port. So in this kind of a device, there are four interfaces, type A, type C, VG, and HDMI. So it can almost meet your requirements on all scenarios. It is so compact port, it's very easy for you to carry it around. It is portable. And of course, this time around, we also offer different accessories, including Huawei keyboard and the fashionable bag. All right, we already talked to you about MateBook X of Huawei. The second product today, MateBook E. So for MateBook E, it also combines a fashion with a high tech. So this is kind of a two-in-one laptop computer combining fashion and a high tech. So the E product. Last year, we launched a MateBook, on top of which we made more enhancement. So for this very product, this is a two-in-one product. As you can see, like the main body and the keyboard can be separated from each other. So in terms of the main body of this product, we continue to adapt the design philosophy to never compromise. 6.9 millimeter in the key thickness and then only over 600 grams of the overall weight, only 640 grams. So this lightweight design is our philosophy. So we hope that, for example, if you use a pen to make some writing, uh, you can still hold and grip this product very well. Thanks to the lightweight design and a small dimensional size, we adopt 12-inch 2K touch control screen. The definition is 2160 by 1440, and then uh, the kind of uh, luminance level is also very high. So the color is really very authentic, as you can see. We have another accessory, a 3-in-1 made pen and a laser pen.
touch control pane with which on the notebook you can write or draw and also uh, like the remotely controlled clicker so this three in one made pen the accessory that really offers great convenience to business people when it comes to the MateBook E product of Huawei, compared to the previous generation, we have made further enhancement. First and foremost, I'd like to say that it is really turning up a completely new look, adopting 7th gen core processor of Intel, the Y series. Performance-wise, compared to the previous generation, there is enhancement performance-wise by 13%. Second, which matters a lot, second enhancement lies with the keyboard design. You look at the supporting rack of the keyboard. The fact of the matter is, yes, you can actually, you know, change like the gear and the levels of the support in a seamless manner. So the angle is really very good. You can adjust the angle to any degree that may be a perfect fit to where you use absorption force. So the main body, you know, when you separate them and you connect it back to the keyboard, uh, this kind of adherence force is very powerful. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the powerful kind of a absorption and a magnetic force to you. As you can see, the kind of absorption force is very big and it is uh, good enough. They can be held very tightly so you do not have to worry about the fall of the keyboard or the screen. <coughs> So for the ultra thin product with great fashion, which is good for business dealings and entertainment, you know, for design, you can write, you can draw. So this is a great computer, and it can support nine hours of a video play back to back and 9.5 hours of a web browsing. For the e product, we also have a three color options. I'm sure at least one of the three will be in your league and to your taste. For example, the gold tint and also the pink tint. I already talked about the MateBook X, of which the size is smaller than A4 paper, uh, the very thin design, but high performance. And also the E product. The next, I'm going to brief you on our third product, the D, MateBook D of a Huawei. It is a large screen, high performance business product which also fit perfectly for entertainment purpose. So in our sector, if you aim for a large screen of a 15.6 inch laptop, really speaking, the weight of such a product you may be thinking about is over three kilos, at least more than two centimeter in thickness. However, when it comes to the MateBook D of a Huawei, for the conventional kind of uh, image of those uh, clumsy laptop, uh, we hope that we can give it more fashion and uh, convenience and portability, but with high performance guarantee, the overall weight is only 1.9 kilos. Thickness-wise, only 16.9 millimeters. So I'd like to say, for the D product, so it is really amazing. It has a wow effect. So 15.6 inch screen, the 4 HD screen we adopt, and also blue light eye protection model, we can filter the blue light in order to protect the eyes. The screen ratio, so our screen ratio is as high as 83%, so as high as 83% screen occupation ratio. So the 
the size of the screen is a 15.6 inch full HD screen, but seemingly it looks like a computer or a laptop, as if it was only 13 inch screen. And a 7th gen U series Intel Core processor. Design wise, SSD plus HDD, the dual hard disk design. So the consumers can expand your hard disk capacity as you will. So usually speaking, like the NVIDIA GeForce graphic card, when it comes to students, those who are game players, yes, our graphic card supports high performance, great gaming experience. So on this model, ultra narrow 6.2 millimeter frame design just like the Dolby uh, as uh, Huang already talked about the Dolby great audio system we made some joint development with Adobe like the speaker hardware system so the ultra thin and large screen of a 15.6 inch with high performance, it supports 8.5 hours of continuous playing of the local videos. So the D, we also offer diverse color choices. So be it business people that are just on the early stage of the career development or students, like college students on campus, this is a wonderful choice. The next, please enjoy a video clip. So for, uh, for example, the X in products, we have a sum up video, please enjoy. this opportunity to introduce to you a few other new products. Last September to the world we premiered like the M3 Android tablet. So nine months already passed. I'm very happy to tell you that the M3 tablet of a Huawei with an extreme fashionable design with a high performance that enables very smooth audio and video experience. Yes, we have won great appreciation from consumers across the globe. And the satisfaction rate of the customers is 98%, and we also are granted with the IMF award. So today, there are two models, the Android tablet, two new products. First, M3 version, 10.1 inch and 8.1 inch respectively. So these two tablet versions, it continue with our design philosophy great aesthetic beauty, never compromise, and then the extreme video audio experience. So the Android tablet, the M3 Xinchun version, and we apply the philosophy of brevity in aesthetic beauty. Design-wise, we have the metallic frame and also CNC diamond cutting process. When you're holding it in your hands, you feel 
really great feeling. So 10.1 inch and the thickness is only 7.1 millimeter, 460 gram in weight. So for this kind of a tablet, you may hold it in your hands for a long time. Therefore, the grip feel and how you feel it when you hold it in your hands, this kind of a feeling is very important. So we have a good screen, but we have a small lightweight design with fashion. The IPS Full HD high definition screen and the great glass as well. Contrast is 1000 to 1. <laughs> and of course, for this entertaining oriented tablet, you know, we also consider uh, the protection of the eyes through filtering the blue light. So when you're reading, and uh, it gives you more pleasant and a relaxing experience. In the meantime, on the M3 Jingchun version, we also adopt Harman Kardon for high quality speakers. So this is a great extension of the spirit of a M3 series to enable high quality in the video and audio. And also SWS 3.0 voice field extension technology. When you're here in auditory, you feel that it is like a great kind of uh, voices coming at you from all around directions. In the meantime, the Android tablet of a Huawei, just like the smartphone, we apply the Immersion UI 5.1 OS. So you may have the traditional experience, the Android phone. The more you use it, the slower it may be. But for our UI immersion system, it addresses that pain point so that as a user, you can use the OS smoothly all along. The phenomenon of the more you use it, the slower it will be, is gone. In the meantime, for M3, this version, this time around, we also give our consumers some preferential treatment. For example, the first month since it is debut, uh, you can enjoy like a 10 RMB uh, discount. And uh, then the three month long VIP are uh, kind of a reading rights of the consumers if you are the first group of buyers of this version. Second, the M3 uh, Qingchun version. In a two models under that version. So these are our new uh, tablet products. As we know that when you're at home, your Wi-Fi connectivity is great. But what if you're having fun in a suburban area, or even your families and your friends and you are traveling abroad, then you shoot some great videos and pictures. You want to share them with your friends right away. But sometimes uh, the data roaming is too expensive when you're abroad or there is no Wi-Fi. But this is where our portable Wi-Fi solution comes in. So the Wi-Fi as you go, uh, the second gen Wi-Fi 2 Pro, this is the first of its kind to support 4G plus and 300 Mbps in terms of the wireless connection rate. So this is the only one of its kind. Over 300 Mbps connection speed support maximally 32 users so if you go abroad you have many friends with you as long as you use one local SIM card not everybody needs to open up or provision the roaming service only one SIM card locally 32 users at maximum can get connected with this device and have access to the internet so this is a use case in the outdoor as you're on the go, so you can carry it around, so people around you can have access to the internet, you can share great experience. Second use case is at your home, the Wi-Fi connection. People may be confused. Sometimes the video plane is stuck, video call. Sometimes we just got dropped off from the connection. 
But for Huawei, we are dedicated to applying innovative technologies and products to address this kind of indoor Wi-Fi coverage problem. So we have the Huawei router A1 version, so it can enhance your home-based Wi-Fi speed, and you can always get connected. Uh, for example, if you are moving from kitchen and from your bedroom to the living room, you can stay seamlessly connected. And we support, uh, for example, 5G or 2.4G. And we support them both. You don't have to make a choice because for this router, it can automatically control the handset. It can optimize the band frequency. It can offer the optimal fastest speed automatically. And besides that, in this router, we have a MIMO with several antenna with a different kind of output channel and then the speed can be improved by 20%. And then in terms of anti-interference, on this A1 router, we have a good solution to deal with the interference of the other devices as well as the routers. And this A1 router will automatically detect the interference of the devices as well as the other surrounding routers and then it will automatically choose the specific channel for our devices so this new technology on the A1 router can provide extreme significant and extraordinary connection of the internet connectivity now and we just gave you an introduction to the Maybook, I would think smaller than one piece of A4 paper, excellent audio experience, two in one Maybook E and then the big screen Maybook D. And I also gave you an introduction to the M3 tablet, router, as well as our portable Wi-Fi device. So I think the most important part is coming now, which is the price. Maybook X. Let's look at the configuration of the Maybook X as well as the price. And we have a bigger surprise for you. On Maybook X, we will provide office, home and student edition 2016 for free. The value of this gift is 749 RMB. And besides that, we will provide the users the Mate Dock 2 as a standard configuration. When you buy the Mate Book X, you have Office 365, totally for free forever, and then you will have a one Mate Dock 2. I believe that this price is very competitive with these kind of specs. For Maybook E, we maintain the price unchanged with increase and improvement of the performance. Compared to the last generation of the Maybook, the price is the same. And then we also provide the Office 365 and Maydoc 2 for free. Maybook D. We will also install Office 365 for free. Of course, we have a bunch of uh, accessories will be available for our users. M3 tablet, we have a, a two versions. And 
connect our router series and portable Wi-Fi. All these products will be on sale today at 12.08. Gentlemen, thank you very much for participating in our launching section of our product. I believe that after listening to our introduction of new product, I believe that you will have a lot of desire to try them. Thank you very much for your support and participation.